everybody, my name is Corian, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Sabre 37 FLL. So we'll start things off in the front of the 37 FLL. You'll see that it's very identical to our 37 FLH model, but once you get past the front living area, you'll see that this model is much more tailored towards families or those looking for extra storage space. One thing I want to mention before we get into it is all the features that I'm going through are completely standard. Everything in the Sabre product line is standardized across the board, so it makes it simple to know what you're getting. So some of the things up front here, you've got two trifold sofas as well as theater seating. So those trifold sofas will turn into nice full-size beds. The theater seating has heat, massage, blue LED lighting, and you can kick back. You also have a nice big TV. That's a smart TV now, so you can get on your Netflix, Hulu, that sort of thing, as long as you have a stable internet connection. You got the fireplace as well, 5,500 BTU. It'll heat the entire space with electric heat. Then you have nice big windows that let in lots of natural light. But if you don't like so much natural light, you can use those zebra shades and really hone in how much or as little as you need. Lastly, you've got lots of USB ports and power plugs around the entire camper. So if you need to hook up your devices, there's lots of options. Down below in the kitchen, you've got lots of solid surface countertops here, lots of space to eat, put things. You've got a nice big farm style sink with a detachable faucet. There's also a soap dispenser there that you can also put hand sanitizer down into. Nice big windows, so if you're in here and the kids are outside, you're gonna have a nice view on them out there. You've also got a big 30 inch microwave. All of the cabinetry is real plywood cabinetry, so it's gonna be more resistant to humidity and moisture. Then behind me here is a nice big fridge. This is our new 12 volt refrigerator that's a 16 cubic foot. Based on a five hour test, that fridge only drew 3.6 amps of power, so relatively power efficient for the size. Nice big top portion where you can put a lot of your cold items. And then you've got two freezer drawers for your frozen items. Moving on a bit, next to that fridge is a nice big pantry that you can put some of your items in. Then you've got a four person dinette with the nice big windows near it with the zebra shades. And then behind me is a breakfast hutch where you've got a little space for a coffee machine or a crock pot. And then you've also got a lot of storage as well. In the bathroom of this model, you've got a nice big sink, countertop space, there's a medicine cabinet. You got a shower with a seat inside it and you also have a porcelain toilet. So when you head up these stairs, you have two lofts, one directly above the bathroom, which is a smaller storage style loft or small children can fit up there. And then above the master bedroom is a much larger loft with that drop frame that we use. So it's very tall, you can sleep adults or children up there. And there's a lot of space for their storage. There's cable hookups for a TV and USB ports for their phones. So down in the master bedroom, you've got a nice king size bed with two nightstands on either side of it. You can put CPAPs, smartphones, tablets on those, power them up with the USB ports. You've also got this wardrobe slide. So it's a nice deep wardrobe slide for all your clothes. And then the mirror at the end of the bed actually doubles as a space for your combo unit. So a combo washer dryer can fit in there or you can just use it as storage. So on the outside of the 37 FLL, we'll start at the front where you'll see our four point electric auto leveling system. So that'll completely level and stabilize the coach. Then it also comes with a 12 volt deep cycle battery from the factory that's a part of our juice pack system. So that battery, the 30 amp charge controller, as well as the 50 watt solar panel up top are all part of that package. With the 30 amp charge controller, you can expand that 50 watt panel up to 500 watts. Then lastly, the polar bear sticker signifies our polar package, which is a completely enclosed underbelly that's insulated, heated, as well as thermofoil wrap. Your front cap and your roof are also insulated and thermofoil wrapped as well. So moving along near the entry door, you have your front storage compartment. We try to go nice and wide up here so you can fit picnic tables, lawn chairs, those sort of things. You also have an LED light strip that completely illuminates that front storage area at nighttime. And you have cable hookups, power hookups, as well as a whole route through the floor if you wanna put a bigger TV outside. Your slide box here, as well as our side walls are a true two inch thick and they're vacuum bonded, so lower chances of delamination and good insulation. This is a small sofa slide, so it's an electric Schwintec slide. All of our major slides are on a through frame rack and pinion slide. Then moving along, you've got your friction hinge door with a little window that's built into it. It's also thin shade ready, so if you wanna buy that, you can get some more light blocked out there, a little more privacy. You also have the Moride stable step system. These steps just go up and in. They also have little adjustable foot tabs on them if the terrain you're at is a little uneven. You also have pins underneath the threshold that you can take out and take the steps off. Then you have the LED light strip that's built in beneath it. So once your awning lights are on, that kicks on as well to give you a little extra safety getting in and out. So towards the rear of the camper, you'll have your outside kitchen. It has a two burner grill that's built in there as well as a little slot pan. 
Then you have a fridge that's built in as well. That's a 110 electric fridge as opposed to the 12 volt inside. So you need to be hooked up to Shoreline if you want to run that one. Then down below, you've got Goodyear tires that are on 7,000 pound axles. So all of our Sabres have very good cargo carrying capacity. You can load a lot into them, not worry about overloading it. And then lastly, you have valve stems on there that show green for 80 PSI. If it drops below 80 PSI, it'll turn yellow. If it's getting really low, it'll turn red. So on the rear of the 37 FLL, one thing I wanna point out is this is the only model that doesn't have a two inch hitch receiver. We actually use a drop frame to accommodate that extra head height in the loft and still have a good amount of space in the master bedroom. But you will still get the LCI backup camera on the rear there that hooks up to the smartphone app. So on your smartphone, you'll get a video feed of what that camera is seeing behind you. Lastly, on the off-door side of the 37 FLL, you'll have your all-in-one docking station that has a shower port that's built in there. You can spray off pets or dirty kids if you want to. You've got your black tank flush, your cable hookups in there, your winterizing system, everything's all consolidated into one place for you. Then you also have the 10 gallon water heater. So this is a quick recovery water heater that'll give you 10.1 gallons of hot water every hour. And that'll about wrap things up with the 37 FLL. If you'd like to learn any more about this model or any of the other offerings that we have, you can visit our website at forestriverinc.com slash saber.